know, I put myself into a risky career. What, you gotta amputate my leg? Emotions rolling through and thoughts of, you know, how, how life is gonna change. And I do get a ton of phone calls and messages about, um, you know, how inspiring my story is. There, there is certain times when it's just like, kind of want to blend in a little bit. Being on the farm growing up, I always had responsibilities, which is, is super valuable looking back at it. Harvest season came, that's, that's what we did, and, and uh, had to make sure that was taken care of before we went on to practice or ride dirt bike or anything else. I gotta work before play, basically, is what it comes down to. Living out in the country, it was, uh, it was tough to beat. You know, there's not a day that goes by that, that I don't wish I had both legs. Racing snowmobiles and dirt bikes, I, I knew the consequences that could happen. There's that possibility and, and it, it's happened and now you gotta deal with it. So, uh, control what you can and react the best you can to everything else. You know, looking back on that, you know, there were some pretty dark days. It was a struggle. The first two months were pretty, pretty miserable. I, I had this crazy, horrible phantom pain. Um, I couldn't sleep. You know, every morning I get up and I have to, to hop over to my crutches, and then I have to crutch downstairs to get to my prosthetic leg. Yeah, the racing thing just gives me a, a, a focal point, a, a direction to put my energy. I've got two passions in my, in my life. One is being a competitor. And the other is having this creativity to build something. That is just as fulfilling to me as, as being on the racetrack. I started my company called Bioadapt. And uh, you know, kind of my goal is to build the, you know, the cutting edge of performance prosthetics for action sports. I wanted to come up with something that worked really naturally and had the range of motion I needed and the adjustments that I could make to it to you know, get the performance I needed to ride my dirt bike or snowmobile again. I'm always trying to look forward at a direction, a goal, a dream. If you want to make a change, you got to do it. Nobody else is going to do it for you. I thought I was going to be done racing, but you know, here I'm, I'm doing more, more events than ever. Challenge yourself and you get the most out of yourself, for sure. I'm not going to ask why me focusing forward and trying to do the best I can and take the time and, and think about the details and really try and get the most out of your life. Mike Schultz, I race snowmobiles, dirt bikes, and build legs for a living.